What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the full 90. It is finally time for the match day six predictions of the Champions League. And I cannot wait. There's going to be a lot of value for you in this video. I've got tips for every game. In fact, I don't have a tip for the Man City Sevilla game. I have a tip that says genuinely who cares. If you want to find value in that game, go for it. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to the new members of the TF90 Super Tipsters Members Club. I did a community post of all the correct tips I posted on YouTube. There's the post of some of the tips. You can pause it and have a read if you want. But I want to give a shout out to the new members. We're currently on 99. And I think when we get to 100, I'm going to do a challenge. I think I'll do a 10x challenge. So basically, you start with a stake. And the goal is to do different bets across the coming weeks, maybe the World Cup or when league football returns to go from your stake to 10 times your stake. So if that's $1, you go to 10, $100 to 1,000, etc. But anyway, I'm going to shout out to the new members since the last video. Jordan BM, Orj A, I'm going to mess up some of these. KO Agile Matau, Linda Cool, and then the rest is cut off. Tumulo Eric, Mega Mammon1984, a lot of letters there that I cannot pronounce. Q David, K Click, Brandon B, Rick Wilson, Darag Smith, Sabin Marajan, Smeganda Paul, Caitlin and Nick, Sahil and Banner. So if you do want to join the members club, get exclusive members tips and accumulators and everything like that, then feel free to do so by clicking the join link in the description. And please do drop a like, leave your predictions down in the comments below. One of the best things about the members club is that as well as the tips and accumulators I post, I ask you guys to let me know what you're thinking for your accumulators. Then I can comment on them, perhaps some just suggest some things that I might change based on different data points and everything like that. So it's a really cool place to be. And a lot of you have said that you're really enjoying the tips and that it's worth the money. So if you do have have it spare obviously if you don't please don't but if you do feel free to join us now we kick it off with the champions league predictions and like i said there's so much value to be had here some really really insane picks that i'm very excited for so kicking off by leverkusen up against club bruges I do think Bayer Leverkusen are actually going to get the win here. I think they'll believe that Porto might get a result against Atletico Madrid and Bayer Leverkusen can get a result and get into the Europa League with a win here. And whilst Bruges have been phenomenal, they will know at the back of their mind, even if they do lose, they're qualified anyway. And after coming off the thumping from Porto, I think it's possible Bayer Leverkusen could actually get a result. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. I was tempted to go for the result market at 1.62, but I've actually gone for both teams to score at 1.57. So very similar odds. If you're feeling brave, you could even go by Leverkusen and both teams to score. Moving on after that, it's FC Porto up against Atletico Madrid. We would have won a massive bet on the midweek with the members had Atletico Madrid actually scored that penalty and won their last game. I mean, the fact that they just missed the penalty and they hit the bar was just crazy. We were that win away from winning another accumulator for the members. But it is what it is. I'm going to go for a Porto win. I'm going to go for 2-1 again. I think Porto are a better team at the moment than Atletico Madrid. Madrid just coming off a loss against Cadiz in La Liga. Again, that was quite a shocking result. My tip here is going to be Porto draw no bet at 1.66. So all they have to do is avoid defeat for your bet not to lose. And I think that's fairly likely. After this, we have Bayern Munich up against Inter Milan. Inter Milan haven't been traveling away well too well too well this season. They've lost all, all four of the games they've lost this season have been away from home in Serie A. So I'm going to go for another loss here, even though it essentially doesn't really matter because Inter can't leapfrog them to first. They can't go out to the Europa League. They've qualified anyway. So they'll probably have one eye on the Serie A, but Bayern Munich can kind of have eyes on both. They are that good. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win to Bayern Munich. My tip is Bayern Munich and both teams to score at 2.4. That is obviously a tip I gave at the weekend, as you saw, and they ended up winning, I think it was 6-2 or something mental like that. I think Bayern Munich and both teams to score at 2.4 is unbelievable odds. Speaking of unbelievable odds, what the heck? We have Liverpool against probably the best form team, along with Bayern Munich in Europe, Napoli. There is, I, I can't believe the odds are so swayed in Liverpool's favour. Liverpool have already qualified and they can only leapfrog Nap Napoli with an absolutely massive victory, one that they're not going to do. They've just lost to Leeds. They've just lost to Forest. I'm going to give them a couple of goals and filled on a European night. How do you see Napoli not scoring at least twice with the form they're in? Napoli has been another staple of the members only tips, again, coming in with Napoli minus one handicap. Napoli half-time, full-time. Napoli and over 2.5 goals. It's just mental how good Napoli are. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. My tip is Napoli double chance at two. What? I know it's Liverpool at Anfield, but Napoli have been unreal. Basically, you're getting evens for odds of Napoli to do what they've done in every game they've played this season. I think they are the only team left in the top five European leagues that haven't lost a game all season. And double chance is quite simply that. So to get it at two for something they've done every game they've played is phenomenal. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. You could look at goals as well, I think, in that market because Liverpool have to go for it. So they might as well. So I think over 2.5 goals is pretty likely as well. 
after this one, Marseille up against Tottenham. This group is so, so exciting. And obviously, anyone can go through. And it's going to be it's gonna be a tough one. I'm actually going to go... I'm going to shade it to Tottenham. I think it's just because Tottenham have made a habit of getting out of the groups when they've been in the Champions League. They do tend to at least make it out of the group. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Tottenham. My tip is Tottenham draw no better 1.72 because I think at the end of the day, they do have better players than Marseille, just... So they, sh they they will hopefully come out on top. It's going to be a really difficult game and it's not a good place to go. But I'm going to just edge it to Tottenham in that one. After this, we have Rangers up against Ajax. I'll give Rangers a goal, but they've been pretty poor in the Champions League. Not poor by their standards. I think no one expected them to do that well in the Champions League. I'm going for quite a high scoring win to Ajax. I think there's going to be goals. You could look at over 2.5 goals. But as far as I'm concerned, Ajax to win at 1.9. I know the game doesn't matter much like Ajax don't necessarily have to win or whatever but they didn't play in the Eredivisie at the weekend they'll be rested and I think they can beat Rangers because everyone's beating Rangers in the Champions League because they're not good enough so I'm going for an Ajax win maybe there'll be some kind of inspirational Scottish draw or a magical win but Ajax in my opinion are just too good now this one I'm really going back and forth on it's sporting up against Frankfurt sporting should win this at home and I believe they rested players in the league to prepare for this game as it is very important. And if Sporting can get a result over on Frankfurt, they then obviously get qualification too. Part of me thought draw. Part of me thought Frankfurt could pull an upset. I'll go for 2-1 to Sporting just because they're the home side and Sporting are a good home team. It wouldn't surprise me if Frankfurt win though. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a draw. My tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.66. I think it's unlikely both one of these teams wins to nil. And I think a nil-nil is very unlikely also so i'm gonna go for both teams to score at 1.66 after this it's a victoria pilsen up against barcelona i'm going for a close game 2-1 barcelona it's pretty impossible to know at this stage how strong a team they're going to field but victoria pilsen they're playing for pride barcelona are in the europa league they can't go they can't be eliminated by pilsen with a loss here and they can't go to second with a win but i do think ultimately the quality is going to prevail but not without them conceding so that's why i've gone for 2-1 and my tip is barcelona to win and both teams to score at 2.5 because normally the issue with backing barcelona to win and both teams to score against a team like pilsen is pilsen not being able to contribute to the score but even in the round before, when Barcelona beat them 5-1, Pilsen scored. Pilsen scored a couple against Bayern Munich as well. So they can definitely score a goal. But Barcelona, would be, it'd be embarrassing if they don't win this, having already been eliminated to the Europa League. So I'm going for Barcelona to win in both teams to score. I think the value is very good. Similarly here, Real Madrid and Celtic. Celtic, with a win, cannot go further than fourth place. Real Madrid, they do want to make sure they stay ahead of Leipzig because I do think Leipzig are capable of beating Shakhtar. So Real Madrid are going to win. I'm going to give Celtic a goal because... Celtic are okay, but a goal is perhaps a little bit generous, but at the same time, Real Madrid have been conceding the odd goal here and there. They actually failed to win at the weekend, which was another shock. So I'm going 3-1 to Real Madrid, and with odds of this to win, if you just go Real Madrid and both teams to score, it goes up to 2.37, and I think 3-1 is my most likely score prediction for this one, so I'm going for that one. If we look at their wins here, we got 3-0 there, 2-0 there, and 2-1 there. I think 3-1 is not too dissimilar to these score lines. And if we look at the losses here, 2-0, 3-1, 3-0. They've conceded three times on two occasions and scored in one of them. I could see a similar story happening here because it's Celtic's last hurrah in the Champions League for this season. Now, after this, it's Shakhtar up against Leipzig. I predicted that Shakhtar wouldn't lose to Celtic at a 1.9 odds on double chance. I do think Leipzig are playing Shakhtar at a good time. Obviously, it's a neutral ground because of everything that's going on. Shakhtar are a good team, but Leipzig have really come into form recently, and I'm going to just shade it to Leipzig with a win, keeping them in second place, but I do think they'll be able to get the win. Obviously, if Celtic maybe go in, in the lead, Leipzig will be even more propelled to try and win the game, so I'm going for a 2-1 win to RB Leipzig. My tip is both teams to score and over 2.5 goals at 2.05 just in case it ends 2-2 or 2-1 to Shakhtar or something crazy like that. Because well, I've seen Shakhtar pull off results in the Champions League before. Now, after that, it's AC Milan up against FC Salzburg. AC Milan, I think they're going to win this at home. They're a good team and they need to make sure they don't lose. Because if they lose, then Salzburg leapfrog them. So they're going to win for that reason. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to AC Milan. And my tip is actually both teams to score at 1.75. If you don't like the sound of that, if you think Milan could win 2-0 or something, you could go for the Milan result at 
But I saw both teams to score a little bit higher value, and I think it definitely could happen. Salzburg are a good team. So I'm going to... I mean, if we look at these results, they scored against Chelsea. They scored against Zagreb. They beat Zagreb. They drew with Chelsea. They drew with Milan. So they've scored in all five of their Champions League group stage games. So it's not unreasonable to expect them to do the same here when they absolutely need a win. And if they get the win, they are guaranteed to qualify to the knockout stage. So this is essentially a knockout tie. So I think Salzburg, for that reason, can score. This one, Chelsea up against Dynamo Zagreb. I'm going to go 1-0. Difficult for me to really comment on this one. I think Chelsea are going to do enough to finish top of the group. Zagreb had a disappointing result in the league uh, over the weekend. I think they lost 1-0. I could see it happening here. I'm going 1-0. My tip is under 3.5 goals at 1.57. I was considering going under 2.5, but when I saw the odds were so high, I sort of gave myself an extra goal. Under 3.5 goals at 1.57. I don't see this being a 4-0 win. So I'm going for a 1-0 win to Chelsea. After this one, it's FC Copenhagen up against Borussia Dortmund. Tough one to pick in terms of the goal line. Not tough for me in terms of result. I'm going for a 2-0 win to Dortmund. Dortmund got a good result in the Bundesliga at the weekend. And Copenhagen just aren't of the level of Borussia Dortmund. What were these draws? It was the Man City draw, which was a freak draw. There was a red card and a draw was severe. But they, they lost to Man City 5-0. They lost to Dortmund 3-0. And they lost to Sevilla 3-0. I'm going for Dortmund to win 2-0. And my tip is Borussia Dortmund to win at 1.7. I have got a treble for you guys at the end of the video. And Dortmund is part of that. Speaking of part of that, another one, Juventus up against PSG. Juventus are going to score. They just are. PSG frequently concede. That was another bet of the weekend. I had PSG to win and both teams to score. They ended up winning 4-3. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe all on the score sheet once again. Uh, but PSG need to win to make sure they stay ahead of Benfica, who are looking right over their shoulder. So I'm going for a 3-1 win to PSG. My tip is PSG to win at 1.7. You don't need to add both teams to score. But PSG to win and both teams score would be a good shot as well. But I think PSG will win and secure their spot at the top of the group. After that, it's Maccabi Haifa against Benfica. Going to be a tough place to go for Benfica. But I think they're a better team than Juve who struggled against Maccabi. And uh, I predicted Benfica to beat Juve. I think Benfica can just get enough against Maccabi. Obviously, Maccabi, if they're trying to get a Europa League spot here. And with the expectation that Juventus lose against PSG, the motivation has never been higher. However, Benfica... Are, I said earlier that Napoli are the only team in the top European leagues not to be beaten. I think Benfica, if you're including the Portuguese league in the top leagues, I think they've also been undefeated all season as well. I know there was like a viral post saying that the Portuguese league is no longer considered in the top five leagues or whatever. But if you include the Portuguese league, I think it's Benfica and Napoli are the only teams that haven't lost a game all season and i'm going for benfica to win here and man city Sevilla. i've just gone 2-1 i'm struggling to predict man city games in the champions league because there's rotations there's not necessarily needing to play i think city are going to win tip i don't know i actually don't know i would say over 2.5 goals but we've seen nil nils for manchester city recently and it's just difficult one nil against leicester difficult to predict as well so i'll go for a 2-1 and I literally don't know what, I genuinely don't know what tip to give you that's worth any value. So I would honestly just stay away from that game. I, I don't think I've ever done that really where I've just set a game to stay away from completely. But there's too many variables. I don't know. The Man City win's not good enough and they might not even do that. So these are my picks and my treble for you is Ajax to win, Dortmund to win and PSG to win. Odds of 5.34. There it is up there in the paint document just so you can see it. That's a Wednesday treble. Ajax, PSG, and Dortmund. Essentially an away days treble of the better team traveling away from home, meaning that the odds are higher. Perhaps like with the Ajax game, the result doesn't matter too much. Same with the Dortmund game, but they are so much better that I think they should be able to get the win. So that is going to do it for the Champions League predictions. If you did enjoy it, please do like the video, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. That is going to do it from me, and I will see you in the next video very soon.